Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Ender Lilies. Last episode, we went through and basically determined all the rooms that we still have uh, no way to handle, and furthermore, found our way into the castle, of which we're going to be continuing exploring in this episode. Um, I'm going to first, however, though, make it back um, to those two undis unexplored rooms down below beneath us, just so I can see, you know, new areas and, uh, get stuff cleared out that we might have missed during the end of our last episode while we were checking things out. Alrighty, so now we're here. Woo! Ooh, there's an item up there. Stagnant Blight 30. See, the great thing is, is because of all the different things that we have unlocked and available for us, it's now kind of become a how long does it take for me to attempt a thing for me to find something. And that's really nice because... You know. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Almost dying. Um. It's really nice because it lets me, uh, just look everywhere, see things, and be like, hmm, yes, is that there? If not, maybe not worth checking out. Um, I also, in between episodes, did take the liberty of, um, switching out some relics. Um, mainly, mainly, um, I swapped the, uh, prayer count one, uh, to the doll because it gave the same effect just for cheaper cost, and I made, uh prayers faster because you know they are very useful to have on a very quick demand oh my gosh there's so many ah! oh my gosh so many enemies. And this is a really big room. Oh, there we go. Amulet fragment. And a golden room. Alrighty, cool. Bonk. And now into this room, which was the room that we deemed could not be dealt with just yet because it required climbing or falling into something that we can climb on already. Um, I did see this over here, and I feel like it's the better option because things, yeah, can't go that far. Wow, it's a bench. Report from a verboten mage. We have learned that under certain conditions, the regenerative rot in the bodies of the blighted is capable of fusing multiple light forms into one entity. I'm curious as to what becomes of the multiple souls within the fused body. Do the souls merge as well? With this, it may be very well possible to create a soldier that can fly like a bird. The possibilities are endless. No. Stop it. That's bad. That's how you end up with these monstrosities. Also, why do you have this random spot over here? This just... Okay. Feels weird. Feels like you could have cut some of that room off, but okay. I wonder. <laughs> Hang on. Can I actually do that? Oh, no. They have slopes in the way. 
I wondered if I could actually, you know, get up onto there. Um, let's go this way as it seemed to have. Well, no, we, we have the other way. We have the other way. I'm gonna go the other way because that one's closer to a uh, bench and therefore easier to get back to in this area that's kind of hard to live in. Alrighty, here's the door, in we go. Okay, and bop, we, bop, we. Oh my gosh. I love this setup. Just, oh, it feels so satisfying to use. And yes, I know, I do still have, whoa, that one flew me up much higher than intended, but it did discover me an item. Anything else? Yes, there's tons of other things to discover here. As always. And that one's from a specific entryway. Okay. That's a new type of enemy as well. They ha That guy has a mace. Interesting. Well. How about over here oh he's doing the thing ow okay mace guy has big projectile it's okay i can kill them really easily mace guys are now my least threatening enemy ow Just wait that out. Ow. I mean, they deal a lot of damage, but I'm not taking, you know, too much. And this goes all the way down, meaning we go all the way up. I can even stagger them. Like, yeah, I feel fine about those guys. And I'm assuming... Excuse me, locked. Yep, locked. Can't do anything about it. Woo! I'm getting nearly killed. Ow. Okay. Wahoo. And dodge, and go bonk bonk. Okay. Enemies killed. Okay. And... Dodge. Over to here, grab King of the First Ages Diary 1. I do not foresee our arrival on this new continent being welcomed warmly with open arms. There is sure to be much bloodshed, and though I am prepared to do what I must for my people, I cannot stop trembling. I will keep a record of what follows. I must never forget the battle that is to come. Interesting. bonk out <laughs> I'm glad that deals no damage and it's just a get off me ow <laughs> as we both get hit by that one um up we go chain of sorcery 
And that's still not everything, so something's in here. Oh, over here, I just missed it. King of the First Ages Diary 2. The Ancients have put up a fierce fight. Though our army outnumbers their own, they command a force of immortal warriors born of some ancient art. These deathless ones, who have already forfeit their mortal coils, cannot be killed. It seems they can only be contained through magical means. Ten days have passed since this battle began, and there is no end in sight. Alrighty, well, we've already determined, uh, I'm pretty sure, that unless this way connects down... Actually, I think it does. Yeah, it does. Get kabonked, and kaboom. There we go. Now we can come through here any way we want. Boom. Got him. Boom. And... Oh! Well, that's one door done. Um, doesn't look to be anything over here that can help me, though, to get door two. I'm assuming that's what that other lever is, is door two. And it looks like up is where we're heading, so downwards is where we can go. Oh boy! Ah, uh, they've introduced the lights. Or, the lights, the eyes. And there's so many lilies here. Just gonna bonk, 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 bonk. Woo! Ow. I killed one, but nearly got killed myself. Come on. Okay. So, there's something down in the this direction that we are missing we can climb so we can get ourselves back out of here excuse me whoop Yee! ow those deal more damage than the ones that we're used to Come on. There we go. And there's... Yep, this way out. So we are still looking for an item of any kind. Okay. And... Nope. Ow. 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 Excuse me. And... Just kill. Excuse me, that didn't kill? What the heck? I must be getting weak, or the enemies are getting strong. Second play, 30. Oh, I'm blind. Another amulet fragment. There we go. And here we are. As I thought, this is to the other side of the door. But there's also a way over there, so we'll check that out in a minute. Gotta kill some things, get to the other side. Wahoo, bonk, wee, hoo, wah. Ow. <laughs> I love that I can just shred through their uh, defenses. Oh, come on. That was an entirely 
huge mess up. But it worked. Just hit that. Nope, it literally only hit this enemy and there's more over here that I missed. Um, sure, why not? I missed. Ah, there we go. That's what I was supposed to do. And now there's a way upwards, I hope. Maybe. There we go. Not too hard. <laughs> Literally did that first try for Furious Blight 30. And another golden room. Um, because I feel like we're supposed to go that way, I'm going to go the other way, actually. Meet you over there. Alrighty, and of course, like I figured, bench over here, and it isn't golden immediately. There is this. Julius's book. In order to defend the Twin Spires, we Knights of the Bastion took the odd elixir and became immortal today. I would much prefer if we didn't have to rely on forbidden magics, but even if it means making ourselves undead, we must protect our great nation. Even when stained with the blight, a knight must never lose pride in their duty. Ah. I now see. This is why Julius matters, I feel like. Can we go down? Oh. <laughs> Little secret entry in the wall there. It's over. The kingdom is done for. Sign of Blight 30. And, because I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's the other thing Decayed Crown. Enemies will be more easily stunned by attacks. A crown of the highest royalty worn by the King of Land's End. Having lost its former glory, the decayed crown was forsaken someplace far from the castle. I mean, this isn't that far from the castle. And this is an upper entry. And if I remember correct, we're also missing... Ow. Yeah, we're missing stuff from whatever the sideways... Um, Gerard ability is. Now that we're on this side, we should, yep, be able to go right up here. By the looks of things, not even the castle could protect them. Yeah, good to hear. Ow. Ow. Jeez. As I get hit really hard. Um, let's go this way. This way is out more. Actually, wait, what am I on about? I'm after trying to find an item here first. Hold up. We will continue with that room in a moment. What's over here? Alrighty. Now where is the damn item? Oh. Oh. I found a way up. For an amulet gem. Woo. Alrighty. Now let's continue this way. This, I swear, half of the things that I think look suspicious in this game are not suspicious, and then the other half of the things that aren't suspicious looking to me in this game end up being suspicious.
Alrighty. And... Where's the hidden thing? Wait for that guy to go off. Bonk. And then stagger. Ooh. Stagna Blight 30. That's the item in the room. Got him. Got him. Up we shall go. This is nice. Ow. Ooh. Rut row. Bonk. Hit him with that. On we shall go. Two fights. Two centaurs at once. It's okay. They're not too hard. Jeez. Onslaught of enemies. Bonk that. Okay, and first one of those that we've ran into. I mean, at least inside the castle. So, something we definitely can progress through. What do you look like? Oh, of course it has an item and a chest, which... Yeah. Oh, and there's another one. Wonderful. Maybe this is where we gain that ability? Hopeful? Oh my gosh, there's even one in the air. I'm... I'm dead is what I am. That's what I am. I'm dead. I'm also going to check out the room that's over here because that room felt like progression room. Granted, this place kind of feels like both ways are progression. Yeah, they're both kind of progression. Well, we'll still make our way around in this room for a bit. Oh. Oh, and a wall that I can't get through because it's one of those walls. Yeah, we can just kind of outmaneuver them. Silence. Bonk and go we go we go we go we go away. <laughs> Can I fall off the side here? No. So another thing blockaded by what I'm hoping is an item we get here. Oh? What's this? Amulet fragment up the side. And we can't go any higher. Just hit him with that. Can I climb up this side? I mean I can, but not that far. Bonk. Oh, 
Back inside to... A... A bench, which is actually a bed, and a dead me! Priestess's Castle Memo. Why was I chosen by the king? Is it because I was the first white priestess born among my sisters? I wonder if my other siblings are still down below. All I can do is tidy up the room mother used to occupy. It will be ready for her when she returns. Rest now. Be at peace. Priestess's wish. Yep, and there's of course a way upwards. Well, we will sit. So far we've only had two rooms in this area that actually can't even be completed. And both of them are kind of in the same vein. Oh. Heh. <laughs> Climb. Ooh. Stagnant Blight 30, or 10. I misread. To think this is how the Royal Age just meets its end. Stagnant Blight 10. Stagnant Blight 10. Stagnant Blight 10. Why are there so many dead enemies? Stagnant Blight 10. Oh. He's a big boy. One-Eyed Royal Aegis. Oh. Woo! He got a big charge attack. Um. Hit him with the that. And hit him with the that. Got him. Perfect. Beautiful. I'm... I'm not done yet. The king. I must find the king. It's okay, you're dead now. Shh. Go to sleep. One-Eyed Royal Aegis. The giant knight thrusts his great sword into the ground, creating a shockwave that launches enemies into the air. Royal Aegis Elite tasked with protecting the king. Defending the castle during the rain, only to be betrayed by one of his peers, consumed by madness. And there's still more items in here because, ah oh yes, Stagnant Blight 10. Hang on. Stagnant Blight 10. Stagnant Blight 10. <laughs> Even if they can't die, this is still slaughter. Stagnant Blight 10. How about... Aha! One more up here. Sagnum Blight 10. Of course. And into this area we shall fall. Charge at me. I dare ya. I'll beat ya. I get the feeling we are really close to the boss of this area, because look, there's only like one more room he could possibly be in, unless they expect me to have the ability to unlock those weird doors by now. There we go. Alrighty, let's see what's back here. Just a bench and a note. King's Note 1. At long last, the abominable Lord of, of the Blighted Lands has been purified. I stumbled up over there, or I stumbled on that because I was like, Blighted Lords? Blighted l <laughs> Land? Potato. That's how I feel right now. I am beside myself with rapt belief. The Blighted have tormented us for many long years, but now I control them. Tied as my hands were, I had no choice but to afflict my subjects to deal with these damnable wretches. Now their power is in my hands. Ah yes, the we've dug too deep. With that, I think it's time we uh, head in. Could that be the throne room ahead? 
Oh, ho, ho. Are we fighting the king? The king of Land's End. Oh, it decided to run. Oh, he's dead on the floor and there's somebody sitting in his throne. Oh, hello. You don't look very nice. Night Captain Julius. Oh boy. Yep. So far, I'm not having any big problems with him. I mean, he kind of works the same way as the normal armored enemies. Up until this point. And will he charge? Oh boy. I hate that he keeps deflecting my big attacks. Alrighty, Julius. Oh my gosh, we even get a stagger on him. Oh, I messed that. Ooh! Okay, there it is. He can charge. Okay, there he goes. Now he's a difficult fight. Ow. Okay, I thought you were decently easy up until this point. Now I know you were lying to me. Almost got that off. Ow. Okay. Ow. Okay, and now he goes that for him. Ooh! Uh... He is the true blighted. <laughs> Gosh, I'm very glad I can get that pop. Ooh, come on. Come on, don't die on the last phase. No. Come on. You can't do this to me. What? Oh, okay, that just hits all the way up there, even though it's a beam that's on the ground. Alright, fine. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. And now he's going that mode. And he is the one person in this game who has been able to reliably control that. Ow, he just brutally murdered me. <laughs> um... I don't actually think that attack was dodgeable there with where he was. Woo, I got the big hit off. Okay. 
Okay, and bomb. Let him go to that mode. that phase. Okay. I at least uh, stunned him out of it. Haven't healed yet. Don't even know if I've gotten really hit yet. Okay. Excuse me. Almost got that. Come on. and then let's do this. How do you want to go, buddy? Okay, you know what? There we go. I didn't get it on Ulv. I got it on you, at least. You were a very good fight, Julius. I'm sorry. I've only added to your burdens. You weren't the hardest fight, actually. As the kingdom approached oblivion, its subjects became deathless abominations. My brethren fought on until madness consumed them, or the rain did. I managed to stave off the corruption of my mind and found myself in the throne room. My blade held over the king I was meant to protect. He shook and blubbered in exasperation. priests and knights who gave their lives for the kingdom were disposable. This was where the king's obsession with immortality had led us. The king's words, dripping with greed, were palpable lament of his corrupt heart. It was plain to me as the blood pumping in that heart also flowed through my veins. I too had not fought to protect the kingdom or its people, but my own interests. I only wish for him to admit he had been wrong to abandon me. Damn. Sag. Sure enough, as I held my sword over him, his eyes were fixed only on me. I had been waiting for this, waiting for our eyes to meet for the very first time. Damn. Dad didn't even show up to his birthday. <laughs> Night Captain Julius unleashes a series of jabbing attacks with a lance that allows for maximum reach. Advancing thrusts can be made by using this skill while moving sideways. The king's bastard son. After enduring a hard life, he rode through the knightly ranks to get back at his father. His tenacity is unparalleled. Dash. Um, we already know this. After dodging, Knight Julius grabs hold of you and charges forward. Allowing a burst of momentum. Um, okay. Oh, it's a further dash. Interesting. Ear-piercing screech. Piercing spectral lance. Right trigger 
X while dashing. The charging strike of Knight Captain Julius's lance can break through pet pustulant walls. The longer the dash, the more magic builds up within the sphere. This not only increases the attack range and power, but also powers through pick thicker pustulant walls. Press X while dashing to initiate Captain Julius's charging strike, which can break pustulant walls. Dashing over a distance allows magical energy to build, producing a crimson aura that can punch through dense, dark, pustulant walls. As the aura builds, the strike deals more and more in damage and has increased reach. Interesting. A knight driven from his castle. How much hatred must one be consumed by to kill one's own kin? Blight Throne. I mean, you kind of did this to yourself, buddy. I'm not... I'm going to be honest. I side with Julius in this. This is quite truly... The king allowed for some crazy stuff to go on. Everything that happens in this game is because of him. He deserves to be here dead right now. And I agree with Julius. Um, now, how do I... Oh. And then X. Ooh. And I just unlocked Impaling Lily for that. It's just a second dash, essentially, that I hold on to. <laughs> and it does give iframes. It's full iframes. I can charge through. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not iframes. Amulet frag. Ah! I thought it was iframes. Here, let's clear out the enemies. Oh, I messed up. There we go. King's Note 2. The fiend who stole away my beloved son is somewhere in the castle. I will not suffer this trespass. My righteous rage shall not be satiated until I hunt them down, for I cannot allow a dynasty of royal blood to meet and end in mine own halls. If only my plans had come to fruition. But no, hope yet remains. Eldred's Ring. Speeds up accumulation of the SP gauge. An ancient warrior's gift to a priestess. The two were quite close, despite his being a disemboweled spirit and her his master. Though she has passed on, the warrior spirit yet remains, thinking fondly of the time they spent together. How interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna heal. I think... How about this? Let us clear out this entire area. And then... Okay, I got it open. As I was trying to say. And then we'll end the episode. The rain has the rain changed everything. We have lost it all, even our pride. Furious Blight 100. So, first room we're missing something in is here. And I don't remember. Oh, that's right. I remember where it is now. Alrighty. Hopefully this works. It does work. Even if they can't die, this is still slaughter. 100 stagnant blight. And that's not everything? Okay. Maybe I missed something. Did I miss something when I attempted to climb up here? Like, did I give up too soon? I like it. I see what you're supposed to do. So, you go pop, 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 dash, dab, dab. Make sure we land here. Oop. So, pop, do, do, pop, do, do, nope. Pop. Ram down that, and can we find all of this? Are we supposed to back over? Oh my gosh, I see it, I see the end, I see what we're supposed to do. This is not easy, though. No. Okay. land furious blight 
800. Woo! And another golden. So I think with that all said and done, um, we've only got really a few more places things can be in this game. And furthermore, we've essentially got, I think, our last ability to unlock things in this game because everything up until this point seems to be unlockable with everything we have except for you know what we just found with uh julius so yeah next episode i think i know it like literally just happened but for the case of me wanting to get as close to 100 percent before I head into what feels like is being set up as the final area of the game with the Verboten Domain. I want to clear out as much of everything that I can and just get rid of everything else left over on the map so that I can finally, you know, go fight what we've got there. Which, yeah, hopefully we can figure out this thing finally, and all of these other rooms that I've left blank are essentially blank because of, well, our good friend uh, Julius here. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye bye